I'm gonna show you guys one of my little creations that has helped me massively. So all I did is put some screws, I ran copper between these and I soldered that. There's always the possibility of using a stud with nuts to hold eyelets and then you could attach and remove as many different wires as you want. But I just used these quick disconnect dealios so I can switch them out whenever I want to. I have my alligator clips. You can take your jumper cable and get your battery connect for your hot and your ground and then you put this thing wherever the work is happening, like say inside the truck or what have you, and the jumper cable is on opposite side, hot and ground. And this gives me the ability to basically get anywhere on the vehicle. Sometimes link a cu couple of jumper cables together if you need to go farther. So here we just got our tester leads hooked up to the alligator clips. And we'll get our, our voltage. There you go. So anywhere within the vehicle, of course, you could have your probe. You're looking for... Am I getting 12 volts? Am I getting 10 volts? Guys, it was just something that was helpful to me because every time I do electrical work within my truck or my machinery or whatever it is, the best way to get connected to the terminals on the battery is with the jumper cables. And you need something that connects the jumper cable to the wires that doesn't just flap all over the place and touch, like let's say the chassis or whatever it might be and get your sparks flying and, and then the other option is to unreal those little rolls of wire that you've got and you can pre-create them but then the thing is if you've got a 10 foot wire and a 5 foot wire and a 2 foot wire then you've got all these wires you've got to organize and store in the shop and it's just easier to have a physical object that you can just place and create a staging area for your electric, electrical testing. I hope this works for you guys. Have a great day.